Sutter's so Chill is a casual game about a gold rush era man panning for gold in a river. Most of his yields are rocks and other general litter and paraphernalia, but he eventually comes across some more unusual and chaotic relics. Sutter's so Chill was developed as part of Global Game Jam 2021 on January 29th, 2021. Here is a brief overview of its gameplay and how the audio was implemented into Unity using WISE. There are three tracks for Sutter's Chill, the menu, the main theme, and the boss theme. The main menu music is intentionally simple to prepare the player for a comfortable gold panning experience and to mislead them of what is truly to come. The main theme is similar in style to the menu theme. However, this theme is broken up into individual instruments. Some are designed to act as normal instruments, and others are designed to be more chaotic as you get more cursed items. All of these are controlled by a single corruption or TPC. In addition to the piano's flow pass filter rising as corruption gets higher, a flanger is applied at higher corruptions as well. The boss theme is identical in structure to the main theme, only using a minor key rather than a major one, and synths rather than acoustic instruments. The tempo is also faster. As for the ambience, it is a blend container with three sound SFX, two ambient birds, and running water. Using Balance Fade speaker panning, the ambient birds are panned back left and back right, while the water is panned front center.
The walking sound is a sequence container with two random containers for the foot exiting the water, then entering the water. It is looped between foot in and out using an X-Fade power transition and a slight delay. Finally, the item pickup sounds are set by states, which determine whether the item is normal, weird, or cursed. Each state has three variations that are cycled through in sequence. This SFX is also outfitted with auto-ducking that lowers the volume of the music and the ambience while it is played. Each track in Major SFX has its own play and stop event. In the main scene, the main camera immediately posts the play music and play ambience events upon the scene starting. At start, the corruption level is 1, but is updated every frame as items spawn in and are collected. The game's built-in creepy level is what is used to increase the corruption RTPC. Next is walking. This left-right movement script is on the player character. We check to see if the player is moving, and if they are, then post the water walking and set an is walking bool to true. And if not, then stop the walking sounds and set is walking to false. This script channels into a player audio script, which is on the main camera. This takes the event name from left-right movements and posts it to the main camera. Finally, we have item collection. Each item is outfitted with an item type string, which can be individually designed as normal, weird, or cursed. And when the item object collides with the player, it will search the item's description for the item type and send that to the player audio script, where it will set the item type state and post the item collect event. 